It's the radio segment that just spent $150,000 on Whoa. reconstructive surgery so we could get Brad Pitt's knees. Oh. <laughs> just I've never knees. noticed his knees. Sexiest knees in the oh. biz. Wow. Now from the thigh down, people are like, damn, is that Brad Pitt? <laughs> from the thigh down. Nope. It's actually laser stories. Ooh. The segment where we read weird news stories from around the globe, just like everyone else does, except we have a laser. Those other stinkle bells just don't. Ah. This first laser story is out of Gainesville, Florida. Oh, it's a good start. Solid, Jeffrey. Florida. We've seen plenty of stories where a parking dispute ends with somebody pulling a weapon. Oh, oh yeah. God, it's so scary. But a 57-year-old Andre Abrams took it to a whole new level Uh-oh. when he was at his house the other day and noticed someone was parking too close to his driveway. Mm. And, well, if you know Andre, you'd know that makes him angry. <laughs> Uh, okay. He and his neighbors have had multiple arguments about parking, so he wanted to make sure they knew exactly how he felt. Ooh. And that's why he quickly exited his home with his brand new flamethrower. No. Kapoya! Kapoya! Oh, dang! No. <laughs> and if you can believe it, he actually began spraying fire in the direction of their car Whoa. while people were sitting in it. What? Ain't nobody got time for that! Oh my god! So, like, they may have not even been parking. They may have just been sitting there waiting for somebody and were going to move. Yeah. The flamethrower he owns is called an X. XM42 light, and it can shoot flames more than 20 feet. Wow. Oh, scary. How are you allowed to buy it? I don't know. Door? How is that legal? It's a great question. Is it like point? an Amazon purchase? Oh. Unclear if Andre knew, but there were three kids in the car as well. <gasps> no! Oh, my God! No. Oh, my gosh. I bet he knew. No! There's no way! <laughs> I, I bet he did, too. I, no. bet he didn't, I bet he didn't care. Oh, my goodness. Luckily, no one was hurt because the flames never actually hit the car, but oh. witnesses said they got within about five feet of it. <gasps> And Why the, is the car still sitting there? Drive away. <laughs> Good point. And when authorities arrived, Andre admitted to doing it, ah. but claimed no one was any real danger. Oh. He said if he wanted to burn that car, he would have. Oh, that's He's okay. used the flamethrower before on old tree stumps, so he knows how to work it. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, that's oh, <laughs> So oh, damn. now he's facing three counts of aggravated assault. Yeah. As he should. Uh-huh. This next laser story is out of the UK. A bomb disposal team was called to a hospital after a man arrived to the ER with an interesting situation going on. Uh-oh. And after a quick examination, doctors found that an unexploded World War II mortar was stuck in his rectum. Oh. Wait, I'm sorry. Wait. What was that last part, Jeff? <laughs> where? You know where. Where I heard? Yeah. Oh, my god. Where you gosh. don't want a World War II mortar to be. I don't know that I want to ask how. Do I want to ask how? I can't tell. Well, that's such an old mortar. I like, do have an answer what? for you. Please don't tell me it's been there for 50 years. <laughs> <laughs> According to reports, the patient was reportedly a military enthusiast. Very yeah. enthusiastic. We didn't need to add that. And he had the round as part of a private collection, but very he told private. the hospital that things went very wrong when he put the mortar on the floor, because that's when he said he, quote, slipped and fell on it. No, you didn't, no. sir. That doesn't just go in there. It's, yeah. not, it's, like, a, it's like a puzzle or hey, something. Hey, one in a million chance. Oh. Yeah. After the diagnosis, the bomb squad was called in and were able oh, to no identify way. the round as a bombshell oh, no. that was fired from an anti-tank gun. Oh. <laughs> Did he die from embarrassment, then? That's what we're Did he talking. actually die from embarrassment? I'll tell Can you, that happen? No, he, he is alive still. Good. Luckily for the man, they were able to confirm it was not a live bomb, and they let the doctors oh. do their job. If I was oh. him, I would constantly tell people, I'm about to blow up the toilet, I'll be right back. Uh, oh, no. They would never get it, though. No. <laughs> Hospital staff was able to remove the mortar from the patient's behind, oh, and God. he's expected to make a full recovery. I feel like they found, like, grenades and, like, samurai See? swords up there, too. Oh, there's a bunch of... <laughs> <laughs> you then, is this where you keep your entire private yeah. collection? <laughs> he then promptly went home after that with his souvenir in a baggie. Oh. And he told oh, doctors, from now on, he'll put the rest of his collection high up on a shelf yeah. to ensure yeah, nothing it. like this will ever happen uh-huh. again. I'm definitely... Slipping and falling. Oh, is that an old Viking helmet? Yeah. Oops! <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, I'm back. You'll never believe what oh, happened. This next laser story out is out of, of Holiday Headquarters. Yay! Yay. Is this really a trend, or is this store just trying to trick you into buying two Christmas trees this year? What? Because a company that sells evergreens in the UK commissioned a study that found more couples are apparently putting Christmas trees in their bedroom to improve their romantic what? life. Yeah. I saw this yeah. the other day. Really? Someone had posted on TikTok or something like, add a Christmas tree to your bedroom, you'll never go back. 
I Ooh, just I, I love the ambiance in my yeah. living room, but I'm like they claim one in six couples are doing it this year Whoa. because oh. it provides a more sensual atmosphere. I can see it. It gives some like mood lighting. Yeah, yeah. it's like yeah. There'll be a Christmas tree in our room and it'll be covered with dirty clothes. Just like the chair. <laughs> it'll be just like it. the chair. They say the pine smell is part of it. Oh. So real trees are better than fake ones. Yeah, oh. I got a fake one, so. Yeah. I'm not going to make the obvious real wood joke here. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> you just, you just, <laughs> and, yeah. and you added a, a drum roll? Yeah. A spokesperson for the company even offered up an explanation. He claims, quote, it connects us with nature and reminds us of our earliest ancestors who slept and made love outdoors. Ooh. Why couldn't wow. he have just huh. said, again, good lighting. You uh-huh. look good under yeah. it. Exactly. Oh, no, reverse caveman. Uh. Reverse caveman. <laughs> just like they used to do in the BC uh, times. Wow. Uh, they still celebrated Santa. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this next laser story is out of old St. Nick Central. Yay! Santa's got just a little bit of time left to prep and then one really, really tough work day ahead of him. Yeah. And maybe that's why a popular online publication did a poll asking hundreds of kids how they think Santa gets through all those houses in just one night. Ho, ho, ho. Magic, man. Uh, it is magic. Well, here's some of the most popular theories. Number seven, he has gift stations set up in every country so he doesn't have to carry everything with him in the sleigh. Are you saying he has like an Amazon warehouse? Like Amazon is fulfillment that- oh. centers, yeah. I've never thought of that. That is true, because that'd be a huge <laughs> bag. I mean, his bag's yeah. always big. Yeah. But- Number six, he puts everyone in the world to sleep. Oh. Oh, so he drugs us? Or- <laughs> <laughs> Not quite like that. I didn't well, consent to that. Be careful. <laughs> Number five, Santa can walk through walls. I mean, I just thought he was really good at picking locks. Oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> the fourth most popular way that kids think Santa gets to all those houses in one night is teleportation. Oh, for sure. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. There's no way. And the time zone changes, yeah. too. Like, My kids happen. are really into that. Yeah. yeah. Like, apparate, you know, like Harry Potter style. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a fun word. Santa yeah. and Chris Angel getting together on yeah. Christmas <laughs> night, just making it happen. <laughs> Santa's been in an ice cube for 30 yeah. days. <laughs> <laughs> Number three is, of course, magic. Yeah. 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 Hand in hand, I think. Number two, a lot of kids think he can freeze time. Ooh. Damn, Daniel. Yeah. I heard that. Kind of BS that he only uses that power on one night. I could think of some <laughs> other uses for it, but okay. So, Santa. what's the number one theory from kids as to how Santa does it all on Christmas Eve? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Special keys that can open any door in the world. That's, That's a really old door. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> They're old keys. Oh, okay. oh yeah. The yeah. biggest key ring you've ever seen. Yes. 400 million keys on. What is he opening up a castle? <laughs> <laughs> He's like a janitor. <laughs> Many people were surprised special keys was the number one answer. Yeah, yeah me too. True, I've never heard that. I haven't heard it, but it, it does make sense. Yeah, but speaking of doing it all in one night. Oh. You should see what happens with this guy on December 26th. Hey. Oh, he visits her, huh? all the foot lockers in the world. Oh, that makes, sense. makes those shoes very happy. That sound means Laser Stories has come to an end for the day. We'll do it again same time on Friday. Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. Grab a 30-day free trial of Live by Live Plus and you'll get unlimited skips, commercial free music, and all of the podcasts and live streaming events you can handle. Visit LiveXLive.com slash podcast one to learn more and start your free trial.